Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a mod review or a mod how to for um, ACR, which is an automatic casual romance mod as you know if you watch my pleasant view let's play that i do i do have this mod installed and it is the cause of all of my drama in the game absolutely love it so today i am going to show you how to download this this mod and hopefully you can all get it installed in your game because i know a lot of people seem to have a lot of interest in this mod but not quite sure what it does or anything like that so that's what we are going to do today so before we jump into it don't forget to like this video it really does help push the channel out to other people that enjoy sims content specifically sims 2 content and once you've done that make sure you press subscribe and press the bell icon and press all notifications that way you will be updated when i upload a video uh when i also post in my community tab on my page which i do a lot and on that i ask for your opinions and also if a video is going to be delayed i like to keep people updated there that way they're not wondering why i haven't uploaded in like two weeks or whatever so yeah with that all being said let's just jump straight into it okay first things first that you want to do is you want to go on to pleasantsims.com which is cindy from pleasant sims website I love all of her Let's Plays. She currently isn't um, doing anything Sims related at the moment. I don't know if she will ever go back to it, but she does have a vlog channel. Um, and I love to watch her videos on there, so to keep up with the loop. But anyway, she has this wonderful website where she goes over like Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3 and Sims 4 stuff. She also has a, a page that has all of her mods and CC and things like that. And it's so helpful because there are some mods that she has that... The websites no longer work so she has the link to it that way you can actually still download the mod which is great anyway first thing that you want to do is when you get onto the website you want to go on to sims 2 and then mod list you want to scroll down and you can either click here you can scroll down and in essential mods they the you will find the first one which is casual romance brackets acr and as you can see it says allows your sims to auto <laughs> auto <-numia. laughs> i'm fucking reading today i need my glasses woohoo try for a baby make booty calls perform a whole host of romantic interactions give your sims more freedom to make their own romantic decisions and creates a lot of drama and fun in your neighborhood highly recommended i wholeheartedly agree with that anyway so you will click on where it's highlighted you can see it's blue and then it goes to black so you click on that it takes you to media fire and you can see it says ACRV2. It says the download is started and it's already here. So what you want to do, it'll be in your downloads folder. And by the way, for reference, I have my game, my Sims 2 game through Origin because I got it as a free um, code when they were doing the Isle of the Sims on Origin. So that's how I have mine. So obviously if your files and folders are in different places please go over to the sims wiki and it will tell you what everything is anyway as you can see i have two um ultimate collection folders here and this is how you make different save files so as you can see this one's labeled gameplay and then this one doesn't have anything so the one whatever just says the ultimate sims 2 collection that will be whatever is booted in your game so whenever I want to play my gameplay one, which is my Pleasant View Let's Play, I will name this one here Mod Review, and then I'll remove the, the dash gameplay from this one, and then it will boot that one. So that is how I'm keeping my save files separate. That way I'm not messing up my Pleasant View Let's Play with the removal of mods and adding new mods in. So anyway, you'll go into the Documents, EA Games, and then the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. And then obviously if this is a brand new game you will have to make a downloads folder but all you need to do is right click new folder name it downloads and you're good to go so once you've got a downloads folder you go into that and as you can see i do have a couple mods in here um so just ignore that <laughs> so anyway you want to go into your downloads and i use winrar but you can use 7zip or anything like that and you can see that there's all these little things that are in ACR. So what I do, I make a new folder 
So new folder and I'm just going to call it ACR. And all that, I'm just going to select it all and drag it into the ACR folder. I'm going to close that. And as you can see, everything is there. So all we have next to do is boot up the game and I will meet you back when the game has been booted. 20 minutes later. Okay, so we are back into my mods neighborhood. Um, I created a different family. Here we have Randy Smith and his wife, Kelly. Our previous um, review uh, family are right here which is Jane and John Doe. As you can see, Randy here is a romance sim and he has a bit of a thing for Jane and John caught them in the act. Not great. Anyway, so I'm going to go through some of the settings and things that you can have in the game when it comes to ACR. So here is their spawner. You can spawn the adjuster when you click on a sim and click adjust casual romance and it'll be like delete or well it'll say spawn adjuster but then when you already have the adjuster you can delete it or you can zoom which it'll take you to where it is and you can change the model of the adjuster you can have it as phone box a bonsai tree orchid fig tree you get the idea Anyway, so clicking on this is where you'll get all the options. So let me just put the walls up so it oh, it looks a bit more presentable for you. Now I'll get rid of that. So there are so many settings. A lot of these I don't even use or understand what they are, but hopefully <laughs> I'll give you enough information for you to get started. Anyway, so first off you have the token um list so it tells you the autonomy of your sim uh base time which i believe is the cool off period of the next like automated reaction if that makes sense so we've got 17 hours jealousy zero to four he doesn't have any jealousy his autonomy is five so he'll be constantly doing things um I think that is for specifically I think it's for like woohoo or whiskey woohoo pregnancy allowed yeah he's allowed to get people pregnant uh try for a baby 63 percent um our deal number of kids it's not been set yet so it's set to minus one it tells you how old he is what his dress preference is and it's undies for when he gets down and dirty um his sexual preference obviously he is attracted to females risky odds i changed to 20 percent. it should automatically be set to five percent but i just personally like 20 percent in my game and i'll show you how you can change that in a little bit and it tells you how many chances out of ten thousand that a pregnancy will be produced from those odds and it tells you who he has the hots for which is when whoever is around that's who they're going to gravitate towards for interactions if they're not living with the person it's going to be the person who they call over for booty calls okay so then we've got sim settings so you can copy the things and send it over you can set cheating so you can say if he's cheating all these things are allowed but you can say click on that and it'll be like he can cheat but he won't go for a woohoo he'll like deny it or he won't go out for makeouts. You can set someone to be totally faithful. I, I haven't done this in Pleasant View because obviously you'll see how many Sims have had babies that they shouldn't have had because I forgot that this was a feature. But you can set Sims to be totally faithful. I personally would use this for family Sims. So I'm going to set his wife to totally faithful because she is a family Sim. Um, Set jealousy. He doesn't have any jealousy, which is interesting. Um, you can change the one sim. So I could change his one sim to a neighbour in the neighbourhood. I can set it to no one so they won't do anything. Or setting his dynamic. So I think it will change depending on how relationships grow. Because if you set it to static, that'll be like once that's that person, it will stay that person. So if I wanted to, I could set it to be... Um, Jane if I wanted to if she was on the lot I could select her 
you can change the preferred dress pregnancy you can change pregnancy odds through this you can have birth control on or off it's set to off i only turn it on when they roll a want to say that they don't want to have a baby then i'll turn i'll turn birth control on you can say unmarried try for a baby is not allowed that means that only a baby will be produced um through risky woohoo if they're not married i should really have that turned on but i have it turned off so it doesn't matter i'll deal family size um this will be so i could set it to be like they only want four kids that doesn't mean that they can't have more than four kids that just means that they will actually try for four kids but a kid will could still be produced through whiskey risky woohoo this is good for i should really implement this in my pleasant view i should do use this when you know when i say how many kids a family should have and it'll be like three or something because of how the aspirations and add those two things together and then divide by two that would be very helpful but i always forget to do it and then pregnancy odds so this is how you change the pregnancy odds of just normal pregnancy um you have to change the risky woohoo in the global settings sector so i'm not going to mess with any of this um you can have lot settings so you can have it set to a church a brothel or normal i've never changed this i think a church just means it so no one will do anything on any of the lot and i think brothel is like where people just get down and dirty i'm not quite sure hey where was that lot settings jealousy override um and then bedding root in and then i've already gone through lot type gender preference i've already set it in the other household but this is where you can change someone's gender preference you can see what their gender preference is you can change the targets which i have already done i have changed by to 16 percent because it wouldn't let me have 15 and i've changed the gay target to 26 because it wouldn't let me have 25 and it goes through the top number so it'll come up with a fridge i'll just show you actually um so it will go off the food cost number so you move that up and whatever number this is is what the percentage will be so if you do it for it it'll be like 40 percent of sims will be gay no what else is there oh let me pause my game before anything bad happens a mixed pregnancy scanner no dad info take morning after pill if they're pregnant obviously no one's pregnant on the lot and you can reset everything to defaults if you want these are exactly the same it will tell you how long they've been pregnant in hours and how many babies they're having and obviously this will just tell you not the dad info so say if you've got a sim like a female sim that is like just sleeping with other multiple men but you don't and you know or might think that she'd be pregnant you can use that and say no dad info that way you'll have a surprise on who the dad is at the end that'll be very fun obviously you can change the model so let's go in hood wide settings global overrides pregnancy odds is it that one no it's not that one it's global default so change risky woohoo i have set to 20 again oh my god he's jumping rope now it will go on the food cost number and that will be the percentage of what is shown okay so that's gone through all the settings i think hopefully and we can set it also I'm going to set her to be totally faithful while we are here. Where is it? Cheating. Set to totally faithful because she is a family sim. So she technically should not be having a baby. Okay, so they have decided to go and do a casual sit, which means that they're going to woohoo. Uh, mm. Now the cuddling. Let's see. Mm. they're taking oh, yeah. the sweet time and because both of their <laughs> settings now are set to five for autonomy um they mm. have done nothing but have romantic interactions <laughs> with one another 
to the point where that's all they were doing. They didn't even bother making themselves any food. <laughs> and they're trying for a baby. <laughs> I don't have silent pregnancy, so we should hear a jingle. But so she got pregnant from that. Which is great, because obviously it shows that it does work. <laughs> And that they are going to get the baby that they so desperately wanted. And oh my gosh, she has an attraction now to Jando. But also, as you can see, because we set Kelly to be totally faithful. When you go onto the cheating settings for her, it's it tells you all these things that are not allowed through ACR. So if any of these things happen, she will decline all of them. Like I said, because there is no page for this mod anymore, everything about this mod I am learning through um, just using the mod myself. Um, because the only times I found the link for this mod is through the way I showed you, which is through Pleasant Sims website and through a link on Mod The Sims. But that's like through a forum. It's not like an actual download page. Mm. Um, and one person shared the same link that I had, and someone shared a link through Sims File Share. Um, but yeah, let's see his preference. Right, so he definitely prefers women over men, which is a okay. So let's actually check the pregnancy scanner since we know that she's pregnant. So you can see Kelly's pregnant. The father of the baby is Randy. Kelly has been pregnant for one hour. And the number of babies expected is one. So obviously if you did this bit not the dad info, it would just say Kelly's pregnant, Kelly's been pregnant for one hour, and the babies is expected is one. So that's really good. Um Telps is there to share. I think that is basically it. Also, another thing is that the fertility through the try for the baby on just in general fertility in this game is linked to how old your sim is so if you recall in my sims 2 pleasant view let's play we were struggling for cassandra to get pregnant um with darren so that's why we did like a fertility thing with her and that's how she got the twins vivian and hmm. i can't remember the other twin's name um hmm? Oh, I keep wanting to say Cassandra, but it's not Cassandra, that's the mum. Anyway, that's why she was struggling to get pregnant. It was because the fertility was linked to her age and she was really old and that's why she was struggling. Um, so, so yeah, keep that in mind um, if you're wondering why your sim can't get pregnant because usually in normal gameplay, as long as they're three days away from being an elder, they can have a baby. But yeah, so... Please keep that in mind that fertility is linked to the age of your sim trying to get pregnant. Oh. She's having a good old time. Also, another thing um, that I saw, watch me not be able to, oh, found it. So in global defaults, you can actually find a thing for cinematics which is whenever it's like woohoo in the bed in the hot tub you get cinematic when they woohoo with someone for the first time like a new sim well you can set it to that which is normal you can set it to show to never show a cinematic which you can do within the game settings i think 
and then you can also have it so they always show a cinematic no matter if they've already been with that person or not i just keep it on normal um and because yeah see yeah definitely pregnant she's curious required relationship i'll be honest i don't know what any of those are i think that's for um I don't even know what that is, so I'm not even going to go into that. Time and multiplier. We've already gone through um, gender preferences, global switches. You can turn on and off these. Um, I have the teen adult interactions enabled um, because of when there are two teens, but one ages up to an adult. I don't want them to break up if they're already going steady. I want them to stay together so then I don't have to do the whole thing all over again. So that is why that is enabled in my game. I'm not quite sure why that is enabled because I don't think I have the mod for them to woohoo. I don't think I've ever seen it happen. I'm not sure. I'm confused by that. But if you for some reason have the mod, you can have that. Um, Unmarried tried for a baby is disabled. I should have that on actually. Um, I get lost where everything is because there are so many <laughs> options. Here we go. Auto engagement is disabled. Um, so that'll be if the relationship's high enough, Sims can just automatically propose to another Sim. I have it disabled that way. They can actually get engaged when they have the want to get engaged. Um, boot calls, try for a baby, dialogues are disabled. Mm. I'm not quite sure what that means. Either way, mine's disabled anyway. I'm married woohoo is enabled. Before time. You can turn off cheating entirely if you wanted to. Um Auto gender preference is disabled. I want that on. And what was that other one? Oops. Put wide settings, glo global. Auto breakup disabled. That I have that disabled that way I can just break up with them whenever. <laughs> but if a relationship get l gets low enough, um, like in the Doe family, um, and it's turned on, then one of them will break up with the other one. I'm not sure how it determines who breaks up with who, but it's an option for you. Yeah, so... They're just all the settings. A lot of it is trial and error. Um, obviously, just figure out what percentages you want things to be at. Like you might want the percentage for buy to be five percent and ten percent if you want, which I think is what the default setting is for the gay percentage. I just like to have it a bit higher. Um, that way, there's just more variety in my game. Um, but yeah, I think. That is it. I keep clicking on... Oh my god, they're so loud. Um, yeah, I think that is it, really. Just to show you how ACR works. Um, I don't think it'll let me do the boot call. Because she's on the lot. But the boot call one is hilarious. Um, I'll pause that because they're very loud talking. Uh, if you remember in my Pleasant View Let's Play, I had... Um, I didn't realise this was happening because it was on speed three, but when Don was with Cassandra, he did a booty call for Nina while she was on the lot. Well, while Cassandra was on the lot, and Nina came over and they had a woohoo, and that's how Cassandra found out that Don was cheating on her, and she kicked him out that night. <laughs> so it, it can happen. But yeah, that was... That was something else. So this game does cause a lot of drama. This is how... They're so loud. Um, this is how Dina got pregnant with Don because they had an ACR um, pregnancy on a date <laughs> when she went to the club with Don as friends. Um, so yeah, I... This is, if you could only have one mod in your game, 
I would highly recommend the ACR mod because it, it just has so much to it and there's so much to it that I haven't even explained. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I can't believe her husband cheated on her with Jane. But yeah, so highly, highly recommend this mod. If the, it, It's just amazing. It, it, it's got so much to it and yeah it's my favorite all right guys i hope you liked today's episode on the acr mod obviously it is a big mod and like i said there's so much to this mod that i can't even explain because i'm still learning how to use it because that's one of the bad things about when a mod has been um taken off the internet so to speak um it's hard to find a lot of information about it so it is a lot of just trial and error um i hope that you all like this video and hopefully it will help you not only install the game but get started in it because i love messing with the settings just keep in mind when it comes to the global things it will also change like so say if you make setting changes in pleasant view but then you go into strange town and you change the global settings it will then change the pleasant view settings to the strange town settings so make sure so just make sure that the settings whatever you're doing it are kind of like what you want all of your neighborhoods to be that way it just makes things so much easier um i'm gonna have to go back in my main game and change some settings like the family sims being faithful because i really messed that up with <laughs> with john burp he should never have cheated on a on a jennifer with uh brandy but that's my fault because i completely forgot that i could set sims to be totally faithful if i wanted to so yes i would recommend set family sims to be totally faithful and then whatever happens with anyone else they can do their own thing so hopefully i explained this mod well enough hopefully or at least just well enough to get you started so like i said at the start of the video if you do like this type of content make sure you like this video it really does help push the channel out to other people that enjoy sims 2 content and sims 2 content specifically and once you've done that press the subscribe button and the bell icon that way you will be notified when i do upload and when i post in the community tab on my page with that all being said i hope to see you all next week bye guys